Welcome to our channel. Today, we're diving into the fascinating world of prehistoric creatures and taking a closer look at one of the most bizarre creatures that ever existed, Opabinia regulus. This strange-looking creature lived over 500 million years ago and has puzzled scientists for decades. With its five eyes and bizarre features, Opabinia regulus is unlike anything you've ever seen before. So, let's dive in and discover the secrets of this mysterious creature. Before we start the video, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. By doing so, you won't miss any of our upcoming videos, and you'll be the first to know when they're released. Don't forget to hit the notification bell as well to receive all our latest updates. Thank you for watching and supporting our channel. Opabinia regulus is an extinct stem group arthropod that lived during the Middle Cambrian period. Its unusual morphology includes a barbed proboscis, five stalked eyes, and lateral lobes that propelled it forward while using its tail fan to steer. Opabinia was a swimmer that captured its prey with its claw-like proboscis and passed them to its mouth for digestion. It had a paired gut diverticula, which would have increased the efficiency of food digestion. Opabinia was named after Opabin Pass, a mountain pass between M.T. Hungabi and M.T. Biddle, located in British Columbia. The creature was a slender, soft-bodied arthropod with a total length of about 2.8 inches 7 centimeters. Generally, its body is divided into a head, a segmented trunk, and a fan-like tail. The lack of mineralized armor meant scientists produced different interpretations of how the animal might have looked. One of the most bizarre features of Opabinia is its eyes. It had five eyes, and all were stalked and pointed upwards. Two eyes were longer and located towards the back of the head, with a shorter one between them. The remaining two were sighted around the middle of the head. Opabinia was first described by Walcott, 1912, as the most primitive of all Burgess shale arthropods. Owing to its unique morphology with a bizarre frontal nozzle, Opabinia became a flagship fossil for the Burgess shale, leading to much speculation on its affinity and lifestyle. It wasn't until the major redecryption by Whittington, 1975, that the morphology of Opabinia was revealed to be truly one of the most enigmatic of all fossils. It was so unusual, in fact, that when Whittington showed an early version of his reconstruction in a meeting of paleontologists in 1972, the whole room burst out laughing. Further work by Bergstrom, 1986, identified similarities between Opabinia and the recently discovered whole-body specimens of Anomalocaris, Whittington and Briggs, 1985, and updated the morphology of the gills and frontal proboscis. Bud, 1996, was the first to place Opabinia in the stem lineage of the euarthropods, just below the anomalocaridids, and also suggested the animal had trunk limbs, though this idea was contested by Zhang and Briggs, 2007. The issue of whether Opabinia had trunk limbs remains controversial, Bud and Daly, 2011. Opabinia lived during a period when the Earth underwent rapid, severe changes that might have threatened its existence. For instance, the burial of the Burgess shale organism suggests that a mudslide or a sediment-laden current buried them quickly. Incidents like this might have been very uncommon in the dangerous Cambrian Sea. We know very little about Opabinia's lifestyle and habits. Although most experts agree that this creature was most likely a predator, we don't know enough about its place in the food chain or whether it faced significant threats from other animals. Opabinia is closely related to radiodonts. They have similar characteristics, such as frontal appendages. However, Opabinias have been fused at the base to form a clawed proboscis. Similar creatures to Opabinia include Anomalocaris, Wewaxia, and Eutorora. Anomalocaris is a group of sea arthropods with similar gill blades, stalked eyes, and stalked appendages. They were bigger than Opabinia, 1.25 feet long, with well-developed claws for catching prey. Wewaxia is a group of Cambrian marine animals characterized by spiky, shorter, slender bodies of about 2 inches. It was oval and had rows of spines running along its back. Eutorora is a species very similar to Opabinia in morphology but had more extensive blades covering the posterior of each flap. Like Opabinia, this creature also had a tail fan composed of seven pairs of blades. In conclusion, Opabinia regulus is an extinct stem group arthropod that lived during the Middle Cambrian period. It was a swimmer that captured its prey with its claw-like proboscis and passed them to its mouth for digestion. Opabinia had five stalked eyes on its head and lacked mineralized armor, which meant scientists produced different interpretations of how the animal might have looked. Although most experts agree that this creature was most likely a predator, we don't know enough about its place in the food chain or whether it faced significant threats from other animals. Opabinia is closely related to radiodonts, and similar creatures include Anomalocaris, Wewaxia, and Eutorora. Thanks for watching this video about Opabinia regulus, the enigmatic five-eyed creature that roamed the oceans over 500 million years ago. 
If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more fascinating content about the wonders of the natural world. See you in the next video.